Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going to start a new series where we're going to be creating low poly models and slowly introducing you to something new in Blender with each new product or each new project. In this video, we're going to learn how to extrude and inset faces and produce something very similar to what you see in front of you, this crate that's down here. I'm going to show you some problems that you're going to face along the way and we're going to, I'm going to explain to you how to overcome those problems. Don't forget guys to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification button to get other videos. So what I want you to do right now is go and open up the starter scene. Now we've done this before in a previous video and you can get there by going here or I've put a link to a file in the actual description. Open up that file and here make sure you go into UV editing uh, workspace and then from there I want you to go into edit mode by pressing tab. You can also go here by clicking these two and you got the edit mode. I want you to go into face select over here. You've got vertex, uh, you know, your vertex. You've got your edges and your face, or you can press three for face. I want you to press A to select all the faces, and over here we can change the color by pressing G. And I'm going to move it now to let's say a nice brown. Left click over here to deselect. Now what I want you to do is click the top face. And then you'll notice a problem here that I'm going to have. I'm going to press I to inset. Now you can also do insets over here with this option over here, inset faces. So I'm going to click it and you see that little dotted line that runs from the center of that face to where the mouse is. If I was to do this now, it gives me very little room, okay, because of where I positioned my mouse when I first started this by pressing I, okay. I'm going to press Escape to undo that, and then I'm going to cancel that, and then I'm going to move my mouse further away, and then I'm going to press I on the keyboard, and you can see now I've got a whole lot more room to move. It's a bit more flexible. So just remember, that's your first problem that I'm, you're going to be faced with, is positioning your mouse just before when you're about to do something. So here I'm going to adjust my face and um, and I, you know, it's very variable. You don't know where you're going to do it, okay? So you just can left click it. And before I do that, I'm going to press Control Z to show you again. Press I to do the inset. Now you can see at the top, okay? I'm going to move my mouse to it over here where it says thickness, okay? You can see that you can, what the thickness is. Now I'm going to get close to let's say 2.5, but doing it this way is very manual and you can't really do it exactly. And then there's, I'm going to show you how to do it exactly, because I want to do it exactly for the other faces. So once you've done that over here by left clicking to confirm it, click on insert, insert faces, and then here you can change the value to exactly what you want. And that adjusts it there. I'm going to minimize that now. Now, you can do the same thing here by clicking onto this face and doing that. But another quick way is press I and then type in straight away 0 0.25. And you can see at the top there, it's changed it to 0 0.25, 25 centimeters, and then press enter. Now to select the rest of the faces, we can left click this face, swirl it around, hold down the shift key and click the other faces as you're holding down the shift key. If obviously you want to deselect a face, you just hold down the shift key and that keeps the other faces still selected. But we do want to have that selected. So after you've selected all the faces, yep, all the four faces, you can press I and do the insert. But as you insert, sorry, I keep saying insert. But as you're doing that, it treats it as if it's one face, okay? So press escape to cancel that. Now what I want you to do is press I twice. That insets on individual faces, so I, I, and then as you can see, it does it on individual faces. Then type in 0 0.25, enter, 
and now we've inset on each one of those faces. If I keep saying insert, you know what I mean, inset. Okay, so that's inset faces. Now you can see here that it's actually created extra faces for us, okay? And, um, and that's part of what insets and extrude does, it actually adds extra geometry. So now what I'm going to do is introduce you to extrude. So if we click on any of the faces in the center there, and then press E to extrude, and you can extrude outwards or inwards, and we're going to extrude inwards, okay? And again, we want to maintain the same uniform of going inside for each of the different faces. So I'm gonna left click to confirm that. You can go down here again and change that to let's say negative 0.15 and press enter. Now you can do this for all the other faces again by holding down clicking and holding down the left uh, the shift key and left clicking, spinning around, select the other faces. Now when you press E it's not going to know what you want to do. It doesn't know how, you know, if you want to go outwards or inwards, it doesn't know what to do because, you know, each of the different angles is different for each of the different sides. Control Z to undo that. And what we're going to do now is hold down the Alt key and press E. Now that's going to give us a number of options. And what we want to extrude along the normals. Okay, and then it does work as we want it to do. And then again, type in negative 0.15, and that's done it for all the faces. And as you can see, we're nearly there. What we need to do now is color it in. So let's select each of these faces on the inside by left clicking, holding down the shift key, and clicking each one of those faces. Then I want you to go over here, press G, and select one of these. I'm going to pick this yellow color. And there you go. Or maybe I'll make it orange. And there you go. That's how we make our cube. How easy was that? Well done guys, this is what we've created. Hopefully you've learnt something in this video. If I wasn't able to communicate something for you properly, please let me know in the comments below. But we're on our way to making our own game assets and I hope you're proud about what you've created today. Till next time guys, ciao.